Welcome back. Can we run MicroPython on the BrainPad? Let's talk about that. In the past, our products were primarily used with .NET Micro Framework. Now, we want to change that. We want to give you the option to run any software you like on our products. We're actually going to help you to do that. We're giving you all the options. For example, MicroPython is a, a, a newer option that's been on the market now. It's an open source uh, library, and it's a subset of Python, and it runs on small microcontrollers. Uh, what's nice about MicroPython is that the fact that you can connect to your to a product running MicroPython, for example, using a serial port, and there is a command line where you can type in the commands and your board just run them. There's no compiler, there's no IDE. And the MicroPython Python also, also has another really cool feature where it gives you a virtual drive. Through this virtual drive, you can, there is like a, 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 the, your Python code can sit on there. So you can modify your script right on there and the board will interpret it and run it. There is no need for compilers uh, to go in the middle. Now, uh, to run MicroPython on a specific product, it has to be ported, just like TinyCLROS or any other operating system for that matter. Now, we, uh, looking at MicroPython, there was already a, uh, a port for Nucleo, uh, for STM Nucleo board that's hosting the STM32F401 processor. That is the exact same processor running on the brain pad. So I figured, well, let's put that on the brain pad and see what happens. It might just work. And it did. So to do that, the first step you need is to go on micropython.org uh, website, go under downloads. And under there, you, there's the other downloads. And under the other downloads, we have the Nucleo uh, DFU file. This is the file that's used by the ST bootloader to deploy over USB. Now, to deploy the file, this is done exactly the same way you would deploy the uh, BrainPad bootloader. So if you know how to do that, you already know how to deploy that, this file. And this is the step you need. If, if you loaded MicroPython and you need to go back to TinyCLR, of course you can do that. Just when you're done, uh, you need to do, redeploy the GHI loader version 2 on the brain pad and you can still run TinyCLR again. So go ahead, give it a try anyway, just to get a feel of what MicroPython is about. Um, the steps are included in our documentation under the brain pad. And also if you go under hardware loaders, the STM loader, under the STM, STM loader, it talks about the DFU file and how to create a DFU file and how to upload a DFU file. In this case, you already have the DFU file. You don't need to create it. Once you install the ST tools, uh, you can go and find there is a tool called DFU SE Demo. That is the tool that comes from ST. You would use that to deploy to any ST M32 product. Connect your USB cable, and then on the brain pad, you need to put the brain pad in the DFE mode, and that's done by pressing, there is a boot uh, zero button, and there is a reset button. You would hold boot down, press and release reset while keep holding boot, and now you can release uh, the boot button. Now, uh, you're under the DFUSE demo program, uh, the ST device will show up, the chip, the, the, the software will see the chip, so you know it's, it's connected. And from here, uh, there is a choose button where you choose the file that you want to upgrade. Uh, you go through, the, uh, through your files, find the file that you have downloaded earlier, uh, select that file, and click upgrade. Uh, ask you for a confirmation, click yes. And it's deploying. Uh, the first step is erase. It's done erasing. Now it's deploying. Now when deploying is done, your board now has the DFU file you loaded, which is MicroPython in, in this uh, example. Uh, close the ST tool. Now reset the board without pressing boot this time. And now it's executing the MicroPython software. Once the board run, you will immediately um, 
your your PC will go through a like installing uh, the drivers for the serial port. If you have Windows 10, and this is automatic. You do not need any drivers. Um, if you had any issues, just hop on the forum and we'll help you out with installing the drivers, or you can read more about that on the MicroPython website. So now I can see the virtual drive. I see like boot.pi Python. So this is the boot file that has like some uh, boot things needed for boot, and there is main.python. Main is where you would add your program. This is where, if you want to blink in LED, you would add it in there. I am not going to use that. I'm going to use the serial, serial port to type in the, the lines of code that I want to, to get executed right on the brain pad. So this is where I was saying earlier, this is nice because you really don't need to install any IDE, nothing, really. It's like the compiler, everything, interpreter, that's all built in. So I'm going to use, you need a terminal software, I'm going to use TerraTerm. And then from TerraTerm, you would have to select the appropriate serial port that is tied into your device. If you're not sure which one it is, go to Device Manager, under COM ports, you will see a list of COM ports. The one that show when you plug in the BrainPad running MicroPython, that's the one you need. So I'm going to select the one that's on, on my PC. And then I would see a prompt coming back saying MicroPython, the version number, etc. Now I can start typing in whatever I need. Now the first thing I would need to type is uh, if you know Python, then this will be obvious to you. If not, if you uh, come from like let's say C sharp word world, you need to um, you need to import a library like using uh, on C sharp. So the first thing you do is import PYB. This is you're importing the Py board uh, library. Uh, so you can use that. So you would import that. Next, I want to define a pin. And in this example, I'm going to use the blue uh, element on this uh, light bulb. So this is RGB LED. It's red, green, and blue. I'm going to use the blue on it. And if I look at the schematic, the brain pad schematic, I can see that this pin is connected to C6. So on the processor, the blue LED is connected to pin C6. Uh, so the next line would be, uh, we need to give a name to the variable. Let's name it blue. So blue, I, I have it right here. I'm just going to copy paste it. Um, so blue equal PYB dot pin. This is how you instantiate a pin. And then you need, to tell, you need to tell it which pin on the CPU. It's C6. And you need to tell it if this pin is an output or an input. This looks very familiar to everything else. Uh, enter. No errors. Good. So now we have a pin called blue and I can write value to that pin. That's true or false. So let's try true. And the blue LED came on. And let's try false. And the blue LED is off. Very easy. Now the next step would be to have a brain pad class. You would import brain pad. And then you would have all the brain pad functionality, like brain pad, dot, light bulb, etc. All these things will be uh, transferred into Python. When that will happen, um, this is on the to-do list, but we are inviting you to help us out. If you like Python and you want to see more Python on the brain pad and other products for that matter from GHI Electronics, let us know. We'd love to send you a brain pad. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week.